very well. We appreciate the opportunity to meet with the uh, task force. Um, ladies and gentlemen of, of this body, I want to be very clear. I'm going to speak very clearly and very frank um, to you today. Um, I had the opportunity to be a part of an education meeting um, in the Mississippi Delta. And it was um, educators, superintendents, and um, some lawmakers. And we were talking about all the new accountability um, measures um, that we've done in the recent legislation, legislative session. And the interesting part about it, a lawmaker that represents a conservative um, constituency base stood up in front of that body and said, you know, these, these new standards, um, they raise the bar so high and they, they push us to a, a certain level that's unachievable. And everyone in the room, except myself, agreed with him. The superintendents agreed with him. That we've raised the bar entirely too high. And I was stunned because there is no bar high enough for my three children. I want my children to compete with the finest of children across this entire world. And I know I want that for my constituency base, and I want that for the children of the Mississippi Delta. So here we, we're in a meeting where I'm the only one scratching my head, and I begin to reflect, and I, and I was lost in words, Mr. Chair, because there was no one that was thinking the same way. And I began to reflect on a theory. And um, it was a little theory that all you guys may remember. It's um, Pavlov theory. And if you all remember about the, the education on this and, and when he presented these theories, he presented a lot of them. He talked about the little dog that was in, in fenced. And every time that dog went to the fence, he got shocked every single time. And guess what happened in his study? Many times that dog got shot, and guess what? He removed the fence. And guess what happened? The dog stayed confined to the same exact spot. That dog had the ability to roam and be free and reach out there to whatever the world offered that little dog. But that dog stayed confined. I was in that room with a lot of educators in the Delta, and what I saw were confined animals that were afraid to reach out and go beyond. Confined animals. They were acting just like that little dog in that theory. Now I know that's a poor choice of words for this body. <laughs> But what do we do? Are we going to act like that, that particular dog in that theory? Or are we going to expand our scope? I mean, are we a part of that study? That does that conditioned response represent us? Does it? See, I was shocked that day when I saw that. And I knew that we were bigger and better than that conditioned response. That if we got shocked and put down long enough, that we would stay in that position. I don't believe that's us. I truly don't believe it. With all of the technology that is out here today, we should be able to reach globally for education. Around the world for my children, my constituents' children, and raise the bar as high as possible and send us to a new level. Now some of us may be afraid, and that's what I see, fear. But I can no longer sit by idle and be afraid and just allow the status quo to exist in education. Ladies and gentlemen, we are dead last in education. You're last. I'm tired of being on the bottom. You guys, in 2008, um, the House, I introduced legislation charging.